Welcome back, everyone. This is part two of me building a Stargate Gundam GSX401FW. And uh, gonna give everyone a few minutes to enter the channel and hopefully you all enjoy. This is my third Gundam ever. So. Yeah. Doing pretty good, I would say. I'm a little bit slow building a Gundam Live. This is actually my first time building a Gundam Live. Uh, well, second time. This is part two. And, uh, yeah. And so, we'll wait a few more minutes for a few more people to enter, and then we'll take it from there. Let's start. Okay, I have inserted a piece in here, but I think it's got to have this hole facing down. So let's try putting that in, hole down. Ah. Let's try and do it with this. Make it easier. Okay. So that's in there. And now, going to close the top with this piece.
and ready. So this piece here goes on top. Now we have a foot. That's pretty cool. So yeah. Hoping a few more people show up. Very close to hitting affiliate. I'm really gonna try this time. I feel like I haven't really been pushing the whole stream thing too seriously. I just kind of do it like here and there, testing and learning. And uh, I'm more ready now than I ever was before. And I'll, it'll get better and better as we go. And I'll get more ready in the future as well. Also hoping to get a new computer soon. Also hoping to get uh, OBS Labs right now. I'm just using OBS recordings. And uh, as we go, uh, things are definitely gonna get doper. But yeah, let's continue building. So we need a PE C piece. I'm gonna cut that, pull it out. And uh, yeah, just to recap, I uh, started this build uh, about two nights ago and you could check out the uh, posted uh, live Twitch on my YouTube and I believe it's still in the uh, video section of the channel here and we are continued from where we left off so I've pretty much got the head and the arm and the torso now we're gonna move into the legs and I've got my directions here and we are in part seven. So I'm gonna put that uh, PCC. It says PCC in there, but it says PEC on the plastic, which has a PC and a PE parts. So we're gonna we're gonna pull that piece, and I'm gonna have to use this tool here to do it. It's gonna make my life easier. Just to guide it, and then I could kind of do it, do the rest myself in the back. The the hole is facing the back here, the bottom, so I think we're good. And then close that. Awesome. Should probably shave that off. Some of the scratches give it character though, but I wanna take that particular chip off. Just kind of bothering me a little. I'm shaving it off with an exacto. And uh, it's pretty good. Now we're going to move into part eight. <clears throat> we need PCF D24, and then we need D21 D20. And we need to put the DCF and the D24 together inside D21 and D20. Okay. The D twenty twenty one. Okay. Thank you. 
Okay, and now we are going to grab the PC part. And we're going to pull out PCF. Oh, we also need D24. So D24 is this guy right here. Okay. And we need the uh, PCF. This is PC. Uh, okay, cool. And from what I understand, if you look at the uh, directions here, section 8, D24 penetrates PCF. So, you know, we have something like that. That's kind of cool. Just like the core rig part here. It's not fitting though. Let's see. Okay. It's in. Shout outs to the wifey Meow Me 666 for keeping me company here. Kind of empty tonight. I am bigger on uh, instagram still trying to blow up a little bit on here really hoping to reach affiliates soon it'd be really cool to, to reach that goal sometime soon but yeah for those of you who are watching thank you for uh, hanging out i'm gonna keep building this so i kind of put this little guy through here now he's got to fit between these two parts somehow so i'm gonna look again um, this is going to stick out like that, and I'm going to throw this in here, I think. Cool, that makes sense. And we have a joint, a ball socket joint sticking out and it's movable. <coughs> cool. Now we need B6, B7. BCB, BCJ. Let's just cut the BCB and the BCJ. Now that we have those two pieces, PCB and PCJ go inside B6 and B7. So let's look for that. I believe this is the B part containing all the B parts. So looking for B6 and B7. B6 and B7. That's right there. 
these two pieces right here. They look really cool. I love the topology of the shapes and the overall structure and aesthetic. Very cool. We cut right into it. And I will file down later with an exacto blade. And I've recently learned that it helps to stick your hand on there when you cut the pieces off so that they land in your palm. That kind of helps. I'll probably throw them and they'll probably fall again. But uh, I'm going to try to do this more times. All right. We've got two more pieces cut out. Now we've got to fit the, the two pieces that we cut before and so this is going to stick out on the bottom and then this one is going into the other piece okay And so this acts as a socket, but let me fit it better. I'm not sure that it's, yeah, I guess that's, well, let me pull it off and do it again. Okay. Yeah, that's how it fits, okay. That looks pretty good. And this will be sticking out on the bottom. And actually, this, this will go here. Cool. And now these two will connect. Okay. Uh, something is just not closing. So... I'm wondering if I maybe I should pull it back out. I think you just have to squeeze it really hard. That's pretty good. Give it a good squeeze. Okay. And we will do the same for these remaining parts here. So, let's see. And for those of you who are wondering uh, who the uh, music is by, it's the confused byproduct of misinformed, sorry, confused byproduct of misinformed culture. It came from the 80s in retro synth wave mix. I just thought it was fitting for our Gundam building here. And I'm going to drop the link to the music in the chat. So if anybody wants to jam out, Here's the link.
Um, we'll continue building here. The PCB and PCJ. And so that should be like the remaining B piece here. And J piece. I'm going to be very gentle here. I don't want to cut the actual piece. Just the. Um, well, I'm going to have to file that one down. So this one has some, some battle scars. But that'll do. We'll just shave off that edge. It just looks a little beat up. I'm going to try to do it some justice. Oh, well. Okay. We have that. Now, we also need PCJ. PCJ. PCJ, it sounds like this dude that fixes computers. His name is Jay. Hey, what's up, I'm PCJ. Terrible joke. All right, so, gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna place this piece through the cylinder. And I'm gonna put this guy here. Probably gonna need, probably do it by hand actually. Trying not to cut myself. Trying to shave this. Okay. We probably should build the other part that looks like this. So I'm going to cut these two pieces out. And, uh, yeah, this is so inspiring. For me, this is just, you know, a Petri dish of goodness. I'm learning robot anatomy. It's going to inspire my own art, and it's just loads of fun. Um, if, for those of you if, uh, who are watching, if, if you haven't filled a Gundam, and you're considering not just Gundam, but also, like, Neon Giants and Evangelion, or just like even older model kits. Um, I mean, there's so much different stuff out there. Um, uh, even if you if you if you check out like just old Tokusatsu, there are so many different robots you could build, and it's just a lot of fun. Okay. Cut there. I'm gonna cut right there. I'm gonna be very gentle. See here, it's tricky. You don't want to cut that because you need that. So you you have to cut right at the edge. And so you gotta really get in there, and then just kind of do it. Okay. We have these two pieces here. Now I need to go back to the PC section of parts and I need to pull out PCF and a D24. So where's the D? D24. There you go. Now we can cut from the PC 
section, and we're looking for PCF. PCF's right here. Okay. PCF. We'll take this little guy here. And we're gonna make it go through that right there. Oh. Okay. Sorry if my finger's been dry lately, it's been wintry, and the wifey has complained. She said she's gonna fix my cubicles for the live chat, so for the streaming, and so uh, yeah, I think they're alright. I don't really mind actually. So we have this. And I'm going to combine these parts together. So, like, this part should be like that, and this is going to go in there, like that, locks into place, I'm going to squeeze these two parts together, and I should probably shave this piece before I do that, I just noticed this piece could probably use some shading here. Probably do a better job with a filer. I just need to order one specifically for this for this kind of work. Um, I'm not going to use my nail filer. So I'm going to use this exacto for now. Okay, that should be that's fine. That's good. Okay, so now I'm going to combine these two parts. All this stuff right now built out. So that's kind of cool. All right, I think this calls for a quick break. So why not open a vivid voltage booster pack? Let's see what we get. These cards are a work of art these days. They're going up in value by the minute sometimes. I mean, they go up and then they go down a little bit, but they mostly go up by a thousand, uh, fifteen hundred percent, sometimes two thousand percent, sometimes even more. So some people, you know, uh, have been buying like their dream house, their dream cars with these. They look really cool. I just think it's really cool to see the market expand and just, um, you know, a different, uh, just a different hobby really uh, dominate during this pandemic time. I mean, you know, people are obviously uh, home more and, uh, you know, the pandemic has sort of brought out uh, the, inner the inner collector more and just overall just... Uh, certain hobbies that you can do indoors and so uh, I'm not surprised that all this stuff blew up recently I'm very excited I love Pokemon I just you know I, I I'm a big fan and I'm gonna I'm gonna you know I'll open booster packs live here and there so let's let's open this vivid voltage booster pack and see what we get 
probably gonna show me new to just a click a little bit there. Oh All right, let's see what we get from this. So the first card, obviously, we got the code here. It's upside down. Okay. Let's see what we get. Croc a rock. Nice. I like him. Hit him on top. Okay. A hero's medal. Okay, not bad. Energy, kind of bad. Metagross, I love the art on that. I mean, somebody painted that and it did a really good job. I love the highlights, I love the overall form. It's really uh, just well made. The stage two Metagross, it's really cool. It's a cool card. I love the art on these and it seems like the uh, some of the newer cards, they're taking the art to the next level. The, uh, those rainbow shinies are just ridiculous. So let's see what else we pull. E electric. And look at that. It's a reverse holo. That's cool. I don't know if you can see it, but it is a holographic. That's our first foil that we just pulled. So that's pretty cool. So I'll put that over here. Voltorb. Okay. What else we got? Puchiana. Eh. Okay. What else? What else? What else? Shut it. I mean, whatever. Shop it is like, eh. Okay, next up we get a fan pee. Fan pee's cute. And finally, a C dot. Honestly, that booster pack was not that good. But we got one foil for E Electric. So I can't complain. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's keep building. Actually, real quick, I just want to put this uh, foil away in a safe spot. Temporarily, I'm going to put it in this book here. And uh, if some of these cards are just here temporarily, this isn't like uh, my favorite way to store cards, but it'll do for now. All right. Let's continue building. So if we are to look at the directions here. We are at part eight. On the left side, we finished, and we are now on the top right side of part eight. So we need B5, C2, B27, B29, B6. There's a lot of Ds. So we're gonna look at this uh, this D section of parts, which would be dark gray, and we're gonna pull out D27, D29, B6. Okay, so. Oh wow, D, D6 is tiny. That is a very small piece. That is our smallest piece yet. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have to be really gentle here. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna place that there. to remove some of the other debris that's near that piece.
And uh, now we're gonna look for D29. D29 is right here. Oh, he's jumped. But we have it. Now we need to grab B5. So this is the B. Hold B section of parts. We're looking for B5. So it should be up here. There it is. It's a really cool piece. It's got a very aerodynamic feel to it. I love the overall design. That's just a nice part. Should probably sand the bottom. Okay, cool. Sand here too. I'm not sanding, we're using the exacto knife, but I'm using the exacto knife the way I would sand it down or file it down, so. Whatever. Okay. That's there. Now, also need C2. Okay. C2. C2 is right here. Another cool piece. Love the overall retro vibe with this one. It's got almost like a Lego vibe, or like a like a. Tra it's, it kind of reminds me of like old '80s toys. I mean, it is an old '80s toy in a sense. It comes from old '80s toys. This Gundam, this franchise has been around. So, but I just you know tickles my brain when I see little little parts individually. Um, I just, you know, my mind goes in a million directions with um, how maybe like some of these pieces could be repurposed for other builds and things like that. But yeah. Shaving off some of the bits from having cut the piece off the, uh, the whole section. But we're coming along. And uh, What else? Ah, we need D27, D29, and, uh, okay, so, D27, D29, Again, I'm going to shave a tiny bit off of here. Cool. Shave that as well. Okay. Okay, so this... So this goes here and this goes there. 
Oh, and I dropped it. So now that we have that piece, we're going to insert it into the B5 piece. So I'm thinking this goes here and, and, and this piece goes here. That. I mean, that's kind of what we're seeing here on the top right of the eight section. Well, actually, in the middle top. And then we're going to close that other piece that we made with a PC1 or a PCI. We're going to close between B4 and then that whole attachment. Okay, let's cut out a B4 piece. So that's B4 right there. And now I believe we can connect the B4 piece with the uh, parts that we just built. So we are going to also need a PCI piece. So PC, that's PCI, just PC here, I, and we're gonna cut one of these guys out, so. There you have it. And I guess now Okay, so this piece is going to go uh, here. Uh, pull up. And then we have one of these with, I'm assuming, goes here. It's kind of cool. And that kind of, kind of connects right there. Something's not connected. Okay. 
Ecco. So I'm just squeezing those two parts together. And there we have it. That's cool. That kind of closes. Pops open. This comes out. Cool. Okay. Let's open another pack. Why not? And open up a Rebel Clash pack. Let's see what we get. Wish me luck, guys. All right, let's see. Okay, here we get a Master Aim. Not even close to being one of my favorites, but okay. Not bad. What else? Sonia. Okay, cool. I already have a Sonia card, but I mean, I'm sure like everyone does. And we get a full heal. I have the hollow of this. Which is really cool. Let's see. What else do we get? Energy. Ooh. Surf Fetched. It's a reverse hollow or the, the holographic background Surf Fetched. That's really cool. He's also one of my favorites to use in PvP. He's really just a an awesome Pokemon. I love that. He, you know, he's like a fighting type. But he's got like coverage and it's just really spammy. Really cool card overall. Love the holographic streaks in the background. I mean, look at that. That's really awesome. I'm stoked. This is a good, this is an awesome pull. We're going to put that in with the other uh, Sir Fetched cards that we have. And uh, so, we, we, you know, we, we have a double here. So eventually, as my collection kind of grows, you know, I'll, do, I'll, do, I'll eventually do giveaways. Um, but yeah, I want to, you know, I have a very humble collection, so I'm going to keep, um, seeing what I pull, and I'm going to collect a little bit more, um, but, uh, I'll definitely do some Pokemon, uh, giveaways eventually, um, but today I'll definitely do some sticker give giveaways, so if anybody wants my stickers, uh, privately message me your, uh, mailing address. And I'll send you a couple of these. If you're here tonight, you get free stickers. So just DM me and I'll send these out. Uh, but don't put your address on the chat because we don't want everyone to have your address. Uh, just send them to me privately and I'll send you a bunch of stickers. Send you like five or six. So yeah, if you want stickers, hit me up. All right, let's continue pulling some of the uh, Rebel Clash cards that we were pulling before. Um, we have five cards left. Let's see what we get. We have a, a holographic Natu. I'm not a huge fan of Natu, but this is still a really cool card. I like how the uh, violet color changes tones depending on how the light hits it. That's a really cool holographic. I can't complain. It's okay. It's not the best, but put it in the book. Keeping it safe. Okay. Next up, we get a Squovit, Barboach, uh, not too, not shiny, not holographic, a Wingle, and finally, Grubbin. Okay, not bad. We got one hollow out of that, can't complain. No, I'm sorry. We got two hollows out of that, really can't complain. The, uh, not that sort of fetched. We got the Natu, and then we got the, uh, Galarian, Sir Fetched, 
holographic. That's really cool. Alrighty. So, moving forward here. And I'm gonna look for D14. D14. There we go. These tall boys right here. So th this, uh, I think this is going to be like a uh, leg piece. Could be wrong, but it looks like a leg piece. at the last part of section eight and uh, we gotta connect all those parts together uh, we also need a b2 part uh, okay, let's do that let's cut out a b2 which i believe is this yep b2 man look at that that's just a really just awesome look at the aerodynamic aesthetics on that shin guard so dope i really love just the overall design of these shapes that's so cool shave off that yeah don't don't try this at home don't use your fingers as a wall for your exacto cuttings So let's see, this here goes into that, and then that goes into this crazy part, except the crazy part is, is backwards, so it goes like that, and should close better than that. Hmm. Oh, we have to shave off a bit of plastic. Let's see. Okay. Oh, and then we have another piece on the side of it. So I'm just shaving off the sides here, like off camera, just so I could be more accurate. But I believe... This closes now, yeah. Yeah, sometimes if the piece doesn't fit, you have maybe an edge sticking out somewhere and you just have to shave that off and then everything closes properly and everything fits the way it should. Okay, so we have that and probably goes like that. And then the foot goes here and I'm assuming the shin guard goes there. And it's upside down. So if we look at the diagram, that's pretty much the left side of section eight. So let's try and build that. Okay. Goes in here. Cool. And then we should probably connect these parts first. Let's go see. Okay. This goes here. Uh, 
Max's foot. I believe. Yeah, that's what I thought. There we go. That's awesome. Wow, look at the dynamics of that leg rig. Look at the way this leg moves. Very cool. That's awesome. I'm super stoked for this leg. Okay. I'm thinking we're gonna do the same thing for the other leg. So let's start with that. I'm gonna go in here, cut out this part. I kind of just stabbed myself, but it's okay. <laughs> I can easily do it like that. Yeah, that's good. Back at the section with the D parts, I'm going to cut out D14, and that's going to slide in the leg. And now I need to build that whole uh, middle part. And so... Let's do that. Okay. By the way, the music has changed. For those of you who are interested, uh, we have a new mix on. And uh, I'm going to drop the link in the chat. The 80s guy. Welcome to the dark side. Synth mix. I'll throw that in the chat. And we continue here. So let's see. PCI. Mm. 
I need B4. I need a B5. Okay, so we have the B4 and B5. And now we need B5. Hmm. Oh, I see. I may have gone a bit ahead of myself here. I have to take some parts off. Okay. So this is going to be like that, like that. Just going to get that back piece. Put it here. So now, I see, we need B11. Right here. Oh, bam, I just dropped it. Okay, we need B11. There it is. We need B28 and B26. Hey, what's up, Spiral Cycle? I'm building a Stargaze Gundam. And uh, coming along. We've gotten this far. We've got like a, a leg out of it. Just loads of fun. And so, I am, I have moved from part eight to part nine. And so we are now building the middle section of part nine and we have we need it we have the PCI we now have the B10 and we need to combine those parts at the top there like so so we need B28 B6 B26 okay B26 should be here that's this piece right here because it says D, and then we have the uh, 26, so cutting that, 
And yeah, man, Cody, what's up, man? I appreciate you. Thank you for hanging out. Just building some Gundam, learning some robot anatomy. And uh, eventually I'll probably paint this guy. But for today, I'm only going to build. And yeah, so we got that. Now I also need... The 26. Okay, we need... Twenty-eight. And I'm actually going to shave the little nub there. that and I believe I need D6 which is a very small piece so D6 is right there it is like the tiniest piece so we're going to be very careful I'm going to grab D6 right here And, oh, there we go. And now I'm going to trim it on the bottom. I'm going to hold this from the bottom so if the piece falls, it falls on my hand. It's a very small piece. Okay. Look how tiny. So small. Okay. And now. I'm going to put the small piece right in there and I'm going to uh, close that oh okay now that we have that and we have this I'm going to position that here like so and I'm going to I guess position the uh, this piece over here Okay. Spiral Cycle says, I got your mask. It's pretty sweet. Awesome, dude. I, I'm glad I made it to you safe. Um, I thought that uh, they were a little bit small. I am uh, prototyping some new ones, and as soon as those come in, I'll send you another batch. And they should be a little bit of higher quality than the last that you got. But I'm glad you have them. And yeah, I thought the art came out pretty cool. I just thought the sides were a little bit on the smaller side. I ordered larges and I felt like I got mediums and smalls, so I went with a different company. But I'll definitely send out the new mask as soon as I have um, a chunk. So yeah, and then for those of you who are wondering, I am prototyping some masks. Um, I have posted some photos of them on my Instagram, so if you want to check that out, uh, you're more than welcome to. And again, just as a reminder, I'm giving away stickers. So for any of you who are interested in getting uh, free stickers, just uh, email me uh, your uh, shipping address or just uh, private message me, DM me your shipping address, and I'll send you some stickers just for hanging out. Okay, so going back to where we were. We now have this piece as well. And I think that that goes here. I think. Yeah.
And now I can come in, oh, throw this in there, throw that in there, oh, it's falling, we got it, we got this, I'm going to throw the shin guard, actually, let me do the, the shin guard piece first. Okay, that worked out. So now I just gotta put those smaller pieces back in there. Okay, that works. That works. Oh. Oh, wow, I just totally. Okay. Alrighty, these pieces are so small. If you just slightly press them in the wrong direction, they jump. They just go. Luckily, I found it. So that goes in there. This goes here. And now, I'm gonna place that there for a second. Um, so I need. I need B10. So this is the B section of parts, and B10 is right there. Cool, that's a nice shape. Yeah, I just love looking at the individual pieces just inspires me to shave off a nub and uh, that should give it a cleaner look again I might paint this in my uh, style in the near future in a style like uh, like the stickers that you just saw or something of the sort um, but for now I'm just building but, uh, yeah, I might even coat it in, uh, like, this stuff. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Okay. So now, I'm going to connect these two parts. And according to the diagram, this is pointing down. So... Yeah, I think we're good. I can now close that. I can now close this. Oh. Wait. I have to shave something off. Ah, there we go. So because uh, we end up cutting these pieces from like a whole chunk of plastic, sometimes it leaves a little nub and it makes it hard, hard to close. So you just got to go in and cut it. Okay, so now it actually fits. And now I can come in from the top, kind of like how we have it here. And uh, I can connect that part. I could plug in the foot. And there we go, look at that. That is so dope. Look at his legs, they're coming along. We have legs. We have a torso. Uh, we, he's got no uh, middle part there, uh-oh. <laughs> we need a pelvis. But that's awesome. Coming along. Okay.
that's pretty much where we just finished. Now we're moving on to number 10. Number 10 needs D7, D4. So let's just grab those. D7 and D4. I'll probably cut them out real quick. Oh, wow. Now, V7 is kind of a unique piece. It uh, just ticks out differently than the others. I'm gonna be gentle here. Trim that off. Trim here. You gotta be careful not to trim the parts that you need. Okay. We have that. Now we need D4. So yeah, it's this guy right here. So maybe this is the pelvis. Maybe this is where the legs get slotted. Maybe the legs go inside of those ball sockets. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Definitely want to shave this little bump off. Another little bump. I think that's pretty good, actually. Okay. And we now... Can connect. So I'm assuming it connects like this. Looking at section 10 on the left, D7 going into D4. So that's pretty much that right there. Okay. Now we're moving into the right side of 10. We're gonna need B15, PCA, PCA, okay. B15 is gonna come from here. So B15 is that right there. That's another really cool shape. I just love robotic, uh, Geometric aesthetics. This is a really cool piece right here. And when light shines on it, you get a nice highlight from wherever the light is hitting it. And then you get nice, like, drop shadows in the corners. That's a nice touch. And again, they've made so many iterations of Gundam that, uh, there's a certain wisdom, there's a lot of research that's been done into this kind of design. And so, yeah, I think uh, you gotta appreciate the small things. This is really cool. And we need PCA, these are PC parts. And the uh, PCA sections up here. Gotta be very gentle. Okay. There we have it. So. So I think, I think I'm doing it right. I think these pieces go in here. Uh, and then that goes here.
Oh god. My fingers are too fat. Alright, let's try that again. Wait. Are we sure this is right? Mm. Almost right. Okay. I just had to rotate that, that's all. Now, everything will fit a heck of a lot better. I'm hoping. I'm hoping it should fit better. Okay. So this, this like rotates here. This is good. This is in place. The stream is good now. No more hiccups. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying different things. It seems like when I'm when I use my phone, the stream is a heck of a lot better. Um, when I use my computer, the computer just can't handle it. I need, I just need to buy a new machine. That's what it really comes down to. I need to buy a machine for uh, for streaming, for 3D rendering, and for that kind of stuff. But yeah, when I use my phone, it seems to be good. Okay, so now we need a few more parts. And uh, we need A13. Okay, we need B12, B29. And so, go to this part here. Because we're now at the bottom here of the 10 section. And A13, it's, uh, it's like a small piece, I guess. So we look here, A13. Ah, let's see, it's a red piece. Cool. Let's cut it. So it's not too small. I mean, in the diagram, it looks smaller, but it's definitely a small piece. So you gotta be very careful. I'm trying to shave off that little nub. But you know what? Some of these could be like battle scars. So. Need a good CPU for streaming unless you do a different encoding option. Yeah, I try to mess around with the bit rate and, and I got it to work well with the computer I have now, but I'm definitely getting a new computer soon, and uh, and that's really going to be the game changer. Once I get my new computer, I could stream more, I'm going to stream better, I should probably get the affiliate feature. Uh, that's another thing that I'm trying to do tonight, that I'm trying to do this week, uh, trying to get affiliate on here, and uh, yeah, it'll, it'll get better from here on. Do you sand your parts? Um, normally, I would. I do not have a filer, so I've been using an X-Acto knife. Instead of sanding, I've just been shaving off pieces. But yes, I need to order a filer just for Gundam. I don't want to use my nail filer for this stuff because that's kind of gross. So I have to order a filer. And yeah, Affiliate is awesome. You get a ton more features. You could do a heck of a lot more things. And um, yeah, I think they kind of go hand in hand. I think once the Affiliate feature happens, um, I'll be more inspired to go live and uh but regardless i'm getting a new machine soon so that's gonna happen definitely gonna happen sooner than later and so going back here we need a b29 piece and a b12 let's 
see. B29. B12. Uh, what's your favorite Gundam? Honestly, dude, right now I'm loving the Stargazer, but there's so many. I mean, uh, you know, just like rebate forms. All, all, you know, I, I just love also not just Gundam, but also like Neon Genesis Evangelion, uh, the old Transformers, a lot of the old Tokusatsu stuff that where the Transformers ripped off from. I'm just a huge robot fanatic. I like it all. I, you know, but I'm really loving the Stargazer uh, kit right now because I just really love the rings. Uh, that we're going to be adding soon. And so I'm very excited to see how, how this one comes out. But honestly, dude, I <laughs> I think I like them all. <laughs> um, and I'll even, I even like some of the more modern stuff too. Like, um, you know, not Gundam, but just uh, like Knights of Sidonia. Um, uh, yeah, just a bunch of stuff really, man. I'm, I'm just really big into, you know, just robot anatomy, androids, mechs, robots. Um, and I also paint them. I made this piece here, which is, uh, it's like a Buddha robot. It's called Guardian Mech. And so I'll take inspiration from these builds and, uh, and make my own stuff too. So, yeah. So now we need B12. So this is C. So this is B. And B12 is right here. So I would say let's cut that here. That's another really cool piece. I love just looking at individual pieces by themselves. They just inspire. But yeah, um, and, you know, actually another favorite is the uh, the FA-78 full armor Gundam, the Thunderbolt version. Just a lot of cool, like, I like the shield and just the shapes. I might build one of those in the future. I mean, you know, there's so many cool ones. Let me clean up the area a little bit here. Oh. Pull some of this debris off. Okay, so we have that red piece. Just doing a quick clean up here. And again, music is by the 80s guy. Welcome to the Dark Side Synthwave Mix. If you dig, check it out. I posted it in the chat. And uh, yeah, it's just a really cool mix. I find it like appropriate for this build because it's just a retro 80s synth vibe and just the overall uh, nostalgicness of it. Okay, looking at section 10 here, we need a B29 piece, and then we need, uh, okay, so, B29, right here.
Yeah, this is like, this is as good as sanding, honestly. It works, does the job. Just have to be careful you don't cut yourself. But it works. Okay. So on the bottom, we need we need a D3 part for the bottom. So this is B. Oh wow, so that's this guy right here. Cool. Okay. Okay, we're gonna throw it here. Spiral cycle will sub. That's much appreciated, my dude. Thank you, I appreciate you. I'll go affiliate eventually, it'll happen. Again, I haven't pushed this whole streaming thing and I kind of done that on purpose because I've been learning how to stream so I didn't want to like over promote it and then I have all these people here and like my audio doesn't work my bit rate is off it's lagging my camera sucks and so I've been discovering some possibilities with streaming with twitch and uh and thank you for being a part of the early phases of me prototyping and learning uh this whole uh streaming business because uh, honestly um, I've kind of been doing it behind the scenes just to learn it but pretty soon once I hit affiliate and once I uh, you know get the new computer things are just gonna really um, well I'm gonna stream more I'm gonna stream uh, you know a lot uh, definitely multiple times a week and I'll try to post the best of it in, on YouTube do some, uh, some clips and yeah okay so we have this piece and I'm going to shave off the top there. Okay, came right off. Got a little more there, actually. And there we go. That's pretty good. And so this here goes on the bottom of that piece there. Spiral Cycle said, I was going to get into it, I got affiliate, but I decided at least for now, I'm not really into it because everything is good already, but that approach is really solid, I'm going to roll out, have a good night, man. Hey man, have a good night, really appreciate you, you know, coming to hang out, and um, yeah, uh, hopefully, uh, well, I'm not, probably not gonna, I might finish this build tonight, I might do a part three, I might go live again tomorrow, or Saturday, uh, or maybe even Sunday, and, and finish it, let's see, but uh, have a good night, man. Really appreciate you hanging out. And uh, and I'm glad, uh, you know, the mask fits. And, uh, and again, I'll be sending you a new mask soon. So, again, shout-outs to, to my Patreons, uh, Spiral Cycle Demand. And, yeah, thank you for hanging. Okay, so this here will be connected from the bottom up like that. Now that we have that, we can connect this like so. And this goes on top. That's kind of cool. And now, we connect these parts. That's awesome. That's the pelvis. And this moves. So that's really cool. All right. I think we have a pelvis.
Next mix, also by the 80s guy, Doom Eternal Mix, Best of Dark Synth, Synthwave, and Hellsynth. Let's see what it's like. I, actually, just discovering new music. I, I, I just, you know, typed uh, Synthwave on SoundCloud, and I'm discovering new artists. So, you know, drop that link in the chat as well, for those of you who are interested. So, yeah, got some legs, I believe we have a pelvis, and so if we look here, we are now at uh, section 11, and uh, we need B17 and B16. So... B16, B17, cool. Oh. And I'm gonna sand the edges there. Get the little nubs out. Do the same thing for the other piece. Okay. And from what I understand, these pieces go like on the sides. So I'm thinking if this is the front with the red piece, then this is the back. So this edge here faces back. And yeah, that, that makes sense. That's really cool. Samurai! I feel like they take inspiration from, like, old-school samurai armor for some of these gunmen. Because these look like samurai pads. All right, here we go. Boom. So that's really awesome. We are now... Connecting the torso and the pelvis, fitting, squeezing it in a little bit tighter. I think that's pretty good. Okay. Here comes his leg. Okay, having a hard time putting his leg in. Let's try that again. Uh, it just like won't clip, it keeps slipping. Uh, there we go. Okay. Cool. Now the other leg. Uh, it won't rotate. Oh, there we go. All right, you clicked it in. Yes. Coming along. He looks freaking awesome. That's dope. I am really digging how uh, this is coming along. All right, so, you know what? Let's treat ourselves to a booster pack. Let's open up a Vivid Voltage from Sword and Shield. Let's see what we got. Oh. I think our uh, 
Stargazer Gundam wants to open it for us. <laughs> All right, let's see what we get. And again, this year is uh, going to be 25 year anniversary for Pokemon franchise. So that's really cool. I think they're going to really give us something special for the 25 year anniversary of Pokemon. And oh, I can't wait. Can't wait for uh, Pokemon Day. Can't wait to see what they do. All right, let's see what we get. All right, first up, D Y. That's a cute one. Mid evolved Ashawa. Next up, we get B. Next up, Opal. I like Opal. Opal's cool. She's like the uh, fairy type trainer. Okay. Then we get Energy. <gasps> an Orbeetle V Max. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's an Orbeetle, but I don't have it. And I, this is a really cool card. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at the texture on these holographics. They look so good. There's so many layers of detail. I'm pretty excited because I don't have this card. So, you know, it may not be worth, like, all that much. But it's a really beautiful card. Wow. Alrighty. I'm going to put this away. Safely. That's that's really cool. I think I recently got one of these in uh, Sword and Shield 2 in the Dynamax raids. This is a really cool pull. Man. These holographics are really high quality. Look at all those different colors. Look at the textures, different swirls. That's awesome. So I'm going to temporarily just put it in this booklet. Okay. This is just a, a hard case for it. Okay. Let's see what else we get. Ooh, a Wismer. And it's got foil around it. That's pretty cool. It's a reverse holographic card. I'm not a huge fan of Wismer, but I can't complain. That's cool. What else do we got? Clobopus. No, I'm not really feeling Clobopus. Let's see. Cottony. Cottony's chill, but eh, what else? Whalmer. Drillbur, that's cool. He's like a little clay guy in the car there. They did a clay version of him. Mole. Mole Pokemon. Okay. Last card from the booster pack is... A crying Wismer. He's crying because his other buddy was holographic and he's not. Anyways, the other guy was crying too. So, we, we ended up pulling a, uh, an Orbeetle. So that was kind of cool. Yeah, we ended up pulling a VMAX Orbeetle. Awesome. You know what? Let's let's open up another booster, why not? What have we got to lose? We will now open a Chubby Pikachu <laughs> Vivid Voltage. Beautiful art on the casing, by the way. I just want to appreciate the box art for a second. 
They do a good job with these. Really cool box art. Okay. Let's open up this pack. I'm gonna actually use the uh, Exacto just to tear it a bit. Let's see what we get. Matang. I like Matang. I like Beldum, Matang, you know, and uh, Metagross. They're, they're a good chain of evolutions. Cool. Um, what else? Let's see. We get a Opal. Okay. We just got an opal before. We get another opal. Another D Watt. Energy. Ooh. Look at that. Throw a loot on. That's a pretty good one. I you know what? I, I, I don't have this card. I'm pretty stoked. That's a good one. That's going in a book. Look at that. It's got like rainbow steam coming off of it. That's really cool. Okay. Next up we get another shiny Wismer. Cool. What else? Electro. Okay. What else? A C dot. Terrible. What else? Eevee. I like Eevee. Eevee is uh, obviously like not I mean, look, Eevee has been going up in popularity, so it's not like the worst card. Okay, let's see. Ooh, Riolu. He's one of my favorites. Even though this is not a holographic card, I, I just really love Riolu in general as a Pokemon. And last but not least, Choodle. All right, Choodle. Eh, I could do without Choodle. Okay. I'm gonna put some of these away. All right. Let's continue building. So that's where we're at, and uh, yeah, we are, let's see, we are now in section uh, 13, so we need D13, and then we need B19 and B18, so these pieces here, this is the D section, D13, ah, there we go, D13, okay, change the music to another tune.
Alrighty. So I'm cutting out some more pieces here. This is the 13. Now we are gonna cut out B19 and B18. And so that's here. And I'm just shaving off some of the debris, stubby edges and whatnot. Oh, that's dangerous. I am surprised I have not really cut myself, considering I'm pretty reckless with an exacto. I don't want to jinx it, but I'm just being real. But yes, I should invest in a filer. I should be filing these down. This works too, though. It's just not as safe. Okay. Alrighty, we have three parts that we have to combine. So this is gonna go on top. Ah, oh, I see. So this goes in there, and then this part goes here. There we go. Now we need a D8. So that's one of these pieces here. D8. Okay. And we will now take the D8. Actually, I gotta shave down the edge. Shave down the edge a tiny bit here. Alrighty, I'm gonna take that D8 piece and place it in a B1. So B1 is this here. So I'm gonna cut that right about there. shave off the excess plastic. Okay. So now this goes in here and like I believe So, we 
have that. Ah, this goes here. So, okay, I see. We need another D8. So that's this guy right here. And I'm just gonna plug it in. Okay. Now we need we need to clean the debris off the desk here because it's just getting a little dirty. Okay. And now we need B three. Right there. Okay. This almost reminds me of like a piece of like a stormtrooper's outfit or something. It's a cool piece. I'm gonna shave off some of the excess plastic. Now, we need to connect these parts. So these parts are now connected, and we need B24 and B25. I'm going to snip those pieces off and connect them into our build here. These are also really cool pieces. I love the shape. Just could even like, I don't know. Could repurpose these with different builds without a doubt. Ooh, I almost stabbed myself. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now I need to take that and connect it from the bottom. And I think we should be good. Oh, cool. Okay. So we have that. And now, 
we have finished uh, the upper part of section 13. So now we're down here. We need C13 and C15 and B1. So let's look at the C's. Looking at these C's here, we need C13 and C15. C13 and C15. Okay. Now C13 and now C15. And C15, we need D1. Okay. So D and 1. D up here. Okay. And I need to. Position this piece like so. Okay. Oh, I see. This goes here. So we have that. Cool. And now we need C21, C23, and PCN. So PC piece is right here. We're looking for N. Again, just shaving off some of the, uh, the little little stubs there. Okay. And now I gotta connect these parts. got this, we've got that, I'm connecting it here, and now I'm locking that in. Like that. Cool, right? We got a little elbow or some kind of hinge. Cool. 
uh, I guess that goes, what, like in here? Kind of like hangs. That, I guess. So that's going to be C16, C14, Saving the ends. Okay. All right. Then we also need a D two. So that's this guy right here. C24, C22, okay, and again, just shaving some of those little, like, extra bits of plastic that are sticking out that don't look particularly good. Just gonna exacto them out. That's cool. So now Again, just connecting some of these things here, and uh, actually, I need to rotate that so that I can place it in. Let's see. 
Oh. Okay. Okay. So there we have that. And this now goes on his back. So that's pretty dope. Now he's starting to get some weight on him, which is pretty, pretty awesome. Cool. Hey, what's up, World Swarcel? I'm building a Gundam Stargazer. This is part two. Coming along. Should probably clean up some of the debris. And, uh... Probably gonna open up another booster pack. Why not? Let's see what we get. All right, next up, we are opening up a Vivid Voltage pack. I have a very humble collection, so I'm not like unlisted Lee for, uh, you know, uh, some of these people out there like uh, Logan Paul or any of these people. Let's see what we get. I'm gonna pull out this booster pack. Use. Oh, you guys saw that? That was dangerous. Okay, I'm gonna cut just at the top there, just to snip it. Makes it easier to open a pack like so. Okay. All right, let's see what we get. A go go. Next up, Parathorn. Nice. What else? Next up, we get Telescopic Sight. Eh. What else? Energy. X Plowed. Not really happy with that. Ooh. A foil opal. I like opal. Opal's cool. The fairy trainer teacher opal. Not bad. That's a pretty good pull. I'm happy with it. What else? Oh, and I dropped it. It's a Joltik. It was a it was a jumpy Joltik. What else? Pharaoh seed, a shuppet, skiddo. Eh, okay, you know what? Let's let's open another booster. I'm really hoping we get some kind of rainbow foil. Any, I mean, you know what? I don't even care. Uh, I don't have a lot of cards, so uh, any anything that I don't have will be a good pull. I didn't have this. So I'm pretty happy with this poll. So this is going uh, in the book just to keep it safe. Do that or not. Keep it here for now. And uh, give it a better, I'm gonna give some of these cards a better uh, protective sleeve soon. Definitely going to uh, protect some of the better cards for sure. But uh, yeah, let's open another pack. And I just want to appreciate the box art. Also, the box art for that last pack is also really cool. Gotta appreciate the box art. Okay. I'm really hoping we get something really good out of this. 
really hoping for good pulls here. Send me luck, whoever's watching, please. I do not have, like, the best of cards, so it would be nice to get something really cool. Oh. Let's see what we get. Ferrothorn. Telescopic Sight. Pinkurchin. Energy. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? Terrakian. Terrakian's cool, but... Kind of kind of wish this, uh, this was a holographic. All right. Next up, we get a sand dial. Okay, we get a sand dial. It's got like a hint of holographic in it, no? Yeah, yeah, that's a reverse holograph. Cool. Next up, we got sand dial. No, this is just a sand dial. We get a tail low. Come on. Let's get something good. A Weedle. Really? A Weedle. Okay. Joltik. And last but not least, Mudbray. That was a kind of a crappy uh, booster attack. Uh, but we did get a holographic sand dial. So that's kind of cool. Um, but it's like such a minimal foil, you could almost, almost doesn't even look holographic. But it is. So we're gonna put it in the, uh, in the book here. And I gotta, I gotta like reorganize this as well. I'm just kind of slapping cards in here for now so that they don't get messed up. Gotta protect these cards. Um. You know what? Let's do one more pull. We're going to pull another vintage. I mean, I'm sorry. We're going to pull another vivid voltage. Not vintage at all. <laughs> These cards are pretty new, but they look good. Um, again, really hoping to pull something exciting. I wish this was... Uh, like burning shadows or something like that. <laughs> but, uh, but Vivid Voltage is just really cool in terms of aesthetics. They, they, they really outdid themselves with the art. And uh, even if the cards are like crappy or they're not worth anything, uh, you know, I still end up liking a lot of them. Uh, just because they look really good. They're like pieces of art. And the collector in me sometimes doesn't care about the actual value. A good, good example of that is the tag team, Zekrom and uh, Pikachu cards. Those are beautiful. They're not worth too much yet. They might be worth more in the future, but um, I think they look really good. So I'm just excited to have them. All right, let's see what we get. We start with Another Opal. Opal is a popular trainer in these boosters. Okay. Nuzleaf. Could be a potential uh, shift tree there. We get a Excadrill. Some would say it could be it's the uh, best ground type, the pure ground type in the game. Best pure ground type, non-legendary. Okay, next up we get energy. Next up we get <gasps> Turo. So I, honestly, I just pulled this card, did I not? I think I just got this, yeah. Okay, so we have a double. So in the near future, I'm gonna start doing giveaways and I might give away some of my doubles, but I'm too early in my collection to even do that. Um, but if you guys want free stuff, send me your shipping address. And I will give out some stickers. So if you guys want some uh, 
some free stickers. Just send me your address and I'll, I'll send some out. And so, I'm gonna put this away just to protect it. Okay. All right, let's see what else we get. Ooh, a reverse hollow rock rough. Not bad. Okay, put that in the book as well. We got a clavicus, cottony, whalmer, tired of whalmer, a drillber, and last but not least, actually it is least, it's whismer. Last and least, whismer. Okay. All right, well, I'll, uh, I'll open another pack at the end, but let's continue building. So we are now, I think the part 14 of the build. Let's check out the directions. Let's see. So if I'm not mistaken, We just finished that, and now we get to build the Halo, or the, uh, the Aura Disc, whatever that piece is called. Call it the Disc. Look at that. That thing is awesome. Okay. So the arcs are A16 and A17. And then we also have A14 and A15 pieces to cut, and they're going to connect into the... 13 three pack piece there on his back. So that's kind of cool. Okay. Man, these these pieces are really gonna make this Gundam so badass. Look at the aesthetic on these arcs. Alright, man, that's just super dope. I'm pretty excited to cut these. I'm gonna do it gently. as close to the surface as I can and then I'll go back with the exacto and shave it down and again I could use a filer but I just don't have one right now for this kind of stuff so this will do fine okay So this piece is good. Now I'm gonna shave off a little nubs off of that piece. I think that's pretty good. We got a small little bump there. I could shave down. And another one. I think we're good. Okay. So that's uh, A16 and A17. So now we need A14, A15. Come in there and cut these. I'm just shaving down some of the little bumps from these arcs. And uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna combine these parts. So I believe 
these parts go together like this. So start to connect them at the top and bottoms. And make sure that actually this goes here. No? Yeah. Right. We have an arc. That's a really awesome piece. It almost looks like a blade. I like that. That's really cool. I mean, I could further shave here, though. Okay. And I'll, I'll further shave there as well. Okay. Do the same thing with the other part. That's super dope. Now these connect at the top and at the bottom and I can connect the disc to his back. Awesome. Look at that. Starting to come along. Wow. That's really dope. I'm really excited. That's awesome. Come along. Okay. So next up, gotta cut out these two parts. So let's do that. And I believe this is the uh, this is the stand for our stargazer. Click it there. We have another part. And now I'm gonna put this guy off. Okay, that just about does it. And so this is the base. So these are gonna be like, I guess the stands for it. So I'm thinking this is gonna go here. And, oh no, the other way. This guy's gonna go there. And this one's gonna go here, like that, and wait. Oh, okay. And then we also have this, which we can use. And so you can have him 
posed differently on the stand. You can hold him from the side, or you can hold him with the two, uh, with these two parts here. I think there's like, I think this means either or. You could do it like that, or you could do it like that. So that's kind of cool. And then now we're here. So we gotta cut out this part. And so I'm just re-examining like all of these uh, parts for, for, for missing parts really. And I don't, I think that's, it. like I think all of these have been cut. So this is garbage. This, you know, we'll put it in the recycling bin and hopefully it'll get turned into another Gundam. Um, but yeah, these are all the pieces that have been cut. This is a pile of stuff that has been cut. And maybe I could repurpose this for something else. Purpose this for like some painting or for some other builds. Who knows? Um, but I know we still have this. So let's check that out. So those rings are going to get attached to. I see. So we need E1, E2, and E3. So these are the E shapes. So these are E1, E2, E3. wondering earlier what is this little rod for well it goes through the pieces that we just cut so let's see we get a little metal rod out of this bag and now we could do something like this That's what that was for. This track is pretty cool. Magna Divide Miami Edit. Okay, so now I gotta put all these guys through there. And I should also just sort of shave off the little bits 
before putting that through. Okay. doing this I'm taking these small pieces that I just shaved down and I'm inserting them through here like so and this is going to hold my rings and so that's there now I'm gonna cut these rings we've got these I'm going to cut them Okay Now I'm going to cut out the middle part to shave that down. And I'm just shaving down like where we cut the uh, rings because it just looks ugly. And I'm gonna smoothen it with the X-Acto. And we're just about wrapping this guy up. I mean, he looks cool already. Can't wait to see what the rings look like. Yeah, I'm just shaving. Okay. Shaving excess material off. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut the, this ring from the other. I'm like butchering the rings, huh? Gonna have to just shave them good. Part's kind of boring, but I just really want it to look nice. So 
So I'm gonna shave out all these little nubs. this a little bit more and we have that we'll shave that one as well shave these little tidbits here Shave them. there yeah, that's awesome just coming along super cool all right and so the smallest one we're gonna put in the back. Medium, right? Or am I doing this wrong? So these parts aren't going in. Let me see why.
Okay. I think we kind of did that. It took us a while, but we did it. Just squeeze it a little more. Okay. From what I understand, that piece goes, let me see, okay, so the stand here. We'll get that. Let's see. Ah, and so the bottom piece here disconnects so that you can put in the, uh, the gun on the stand. So let's just pull that piece off. We just pull that off from there. And let's see how that looks. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Ooh. Okay. And that's pretty much it. That's our Gundam. That's the Stargazer. He's pretty dope. And, uh, yeah, I think we're done with the actual build. Thank you so much, all of you, for hanging out. And I might paint this guy in the future. Um, yeah, this is really cool. I can really maneuver these rings and uh make them look really really awesome i'm gonna pose him some and probably uh, put him on my bookshelf uh for the night but in the future i will consider painting him definitely a cool one do a rotate Look at that back. Yeah, that's cool. Came out nice. Very cool. Very excited. All right. I'm gonna open up one more booster pack and then call it a night. Came out pretty cool. All right, last booster pack of the night, Rebel Clash. Let's see what we get.
Okay. Let's see what we get. Carcoal. Dan. This guy's like 45 years old. Tool scrapper. Energy. Ooh, ice cube. Nice holographic right there. I love the streaks. I love the colors and how the, uh, I guess those stripes animate. That's really cool. Okay. Let's see what else we get. Oh wow, another hollow. Another reverse hollow. Hatron, that's cool. I like Hatron. Okay, next up we get Snover. Squovit. Electabuzz. Magmar. And Impidim. All right, so not bad. We pulled two hollows at the very end. Can't complain. And uh, yeah, we finished our Gundam Stargazer. Thank you all for hanging out. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.